YouTube, what the Total War Shogun 2 is going on. Um, I almost said follow the samurai because I was so used to that campaign. It was a fun one. We had a great campaign as the saga. Uh, that was probably one of my most successful campaigns in terms of economics and just absolute face stomping the enemy. I'm going to now, so there was a vote. It was on straw poll. If you didn't see it, then you missed it. I put up a video announcing it. Now, the winners of this vote, obviously, were the Takeda, because I was sitting here. They had 23% of the vote, over 1,000 votes. There was 4,200-some-odd votes in total, and I think there was eight choices for you. So there were quite a few choices. Um, next time, what I may do is do, like, a prelim vote and let you all know, hey, we're going to take the top three out of this, and then you vote on that. But I did not tell you that was the case this time, and I did not think it would be fair for me um, to tell the people who voted for Takeda, well, now I'm going to give it now narrow it down to a couple more options, and then they all lose because I didn't put that in there in the first place as a stipulation. But next time we'll do that. Overall, like I said, we had about 4,500 voters roughly, um, and there's like 12,000 people who watched the video. So if if, if you don't want to see Takeda uh, and you didn't vote, don't come crawling to me and complain. So Takeda, it is. I hope you all enjoy it. We are going to do a long campaign with him to give me a little extra time. Let's kick things off without wasting any time. I'm excited about a Takeda campaign. Uh, they are cavalry focused. They're going to have uh, special um, bonuses to their cavalry units like Light Cav, Yari Cav, Katana Cav. Um, they actually get a lot of, a lot of neat bonuses. Um, their Great Guard would be improved. Like all their cavalry I think is better if I remember right. Um, so need to get some Cav. 15 or 45. This is Sengoku Jidai, the age of the country at war. For 200 years, the Ashikaga shoguns have ruled from Kyoto. Great splendor and power were theirs. Now the over mighty clans no longer obey. The time has come for a new warlord to become Shogun. But who will be victorious? Takeda lands have always provided for our people. Our enemies are many and envious. They threaten our borders and look for any weakness. To be Takeda is to be born in the saddle. We are master horsemen. Our cavalry has town hall. Let others march. We ride. We fly like storms in the mountains. We thunder in battle. Pisha Mountain, the war god, has woken. Now is the time to defeat our enemies. All will bow to the Takeda clan. We wait no longer. Destiny calls. Indeed it does. And man, it feels good to be back in the good old Sengoku Jedi. It has been too long. Um, this is a fun game with good campaigns. I'll let you listen to this intro real quick. Well, they're not talking. I must have it turned off, so whatever. Um, defeat uh, an army belonging to the Murakami clan, and we get Dreaded Force, which uh, instills fear in enemy units, reduces their morale for several turns. Uh, this is a Murakami army. Let's take a look at what we have here. We have Takeda Shinyan, and right off the bat, we definitely want to get him into some action. Um, this army is pretty small, but let's just go ahead and see if we can defeat this Murakami army real quick. Uh, so, yeah, before we get started, though, let's take, let's take a quick look. So here, here's the money we're making. Now, this is going to be a little bit different than Fall of the Samurai. The buildings are different. Um, food, everything plays a slightly different role in this one, so it's just something to be aware of. In fact, we're probably going to want to go ahead and uh, do the improved irrigation, which provides us an extra two food. Uh, the castle, we're going to have to take care of. The roads would be handy as well. 
Let's go ahead and throw some money at the roads, and let's uh, defeat the Murakami, but let's go ahead and uh, let's get in here first. Uh, let's see. To unlock the better farms, we got to get all the way down here to equal fields. Sword school. Let's just kind of see what some of our other options are here. Where's anything for cavalry? So enables swooping crane. So this is kind of some of our cavalry stuff here. Naginata dojo encampment. So maybe let's go see if maybe we can uh, start working on that tree right there. All right. Well, actually, probably wouldn't hurt to have... Well, let's just start here. <laughs> we'll start at the Bushido. Um, let's go ahead and go fight this battle real quick. The Murakami are fleeing away from me. Cowards. Run in fear, Murakami cowards. All right, let's fight this on the battlefield. I do not need a drop-in player. Wouldn't be anybody waiting on drop-in anyway, I'm sure. Unless I was live streaming and told you all to go jump in the drop in battle. And I don't know, maybe we can do that at some point. It might be kind of fun if I was live streaming. I could tell you all to go jump into the drop in battles and you could potentially get matched against me in a campaign battle. We, I'd have to think about that because then we could make up some rules like, okay, no camp. Well, I mean, unless you're the defender, no stupid camping and running around and ruining the, the pace of the film or whatever. But, you know, just to have some fun with it might be a good time. Okay, let's see. Man, Takeda Takeda. We're gonna have to obviously try and get some awesome cavalry. It might take us a little bit. Oh, I forgot they have the general speeches here. I wonder if it's still glitched to where the guys are cheering, but it, they don't make any noise and it's like the silent cheer. Let's see what Shingen has to say. Send our enemies to hell. I like this. Yeah, the silent cheers! Woo! <laughs> Does anybody know what causes that? Is there a way to fix it? Pose a sad line about their fate. <laughs> Dishonored and dishonorable. They were born in filth and will die unloved. Their family is shrouded to wrap up their rotting corpses. <laughs> or their infamy, sorry. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, Shingen's got some pretty good speech going on there. I, I like it. That is insulting to some extreme degree. Uh, just the way I like it. Um, Alright, so let's get our archers up here. Probably go ahead and spread out. Okay. Get some cavalry. controls are very much different on Shogun 2 versus um, say like an Attila but I, you know I really wish sometimes that they could go back and just make an update to like Empire and Napoleon and all the rest it just added like some of the new controls features that are in the new Total Wars because oh my gosh that's one of the there's lots of great past Total Wars but that's one of the things that kills me the most is that like just trying to improve uh, the controls is is so difficult or trying to do the controls of some of the older games is so difficult uh, once you've had it the nice way with the, uh, the controls on the new game. Uh, looks like the enemies actually in... Ooh, gotta pull back here. Yeah, and there is no bracing mechanic in Shogun 2 either. So my Yari Samurai are gonna really jack up that light cavalry. That was pretty, uh, that was pretty gutsy of the AI to take a run at me like that. That means we should be able to take our own run towards the enemy troops. I used the um, rapid advance characteristic of my um, Yari Samurai. Let's go ahead and rush the hill, because now we should have an advantage. Our cavalry can uh, split around from all directions. Where's my bowman? Let's go ahead and shoot the enemy bowman. we got to stay away from... The enemy spear infantry, and we need to pin down the remainder. Let's get up here. Let's lure these guys back in the direction of this Yari Trashigaru. There we go. Let's get you some sweet uh, close up action here. Got my uh, general. Co Ooh, shoot my own guys. Um, let's keep these guys safe. Oh, those guys routed. 
Alright, so we've destroyed uh, the army of the Mirakami. Stop shooting. Okay, let's go ahead and end the battle. <laughs> ah, Shogun 2 does have pretty nice controls. They're not bad. I like them a little better on Rome 2 and Attila, but very nice, actually. This game is its beautiful. It really was a masterpiece of Total War. I like Rome 2 better just because of the time period, but I mean, there really was some stuff that Shogun 2 had right. There was some stuff it had wrong, but uh, lots of pretty fantastic features in this game, really, all things considered. And considering that it's now several years old, this game is incredible. Um, I don't know what the price is on Steam, but if you can get this for a fairly low price, I mean, it is so worth your while. Uh, I need to get a, probably a couple more units before we can actually take North Shinano. We do have War Horses. Oh, I should have checked to see if we could get any trade partners. That was a blunder. Um, Takeda Bow Cavalry, if we master the following art form. I, I'd love to have that Bow Cavalry. Uh, let's see, friendly. We're already trading. Can trade with the Imagawa, and we're friendly. So let's request Creatives. a trade agreement. It is always... Good old Imagawa. Uh, let's see. Who else? The Kiso seem friendly with us too. Let's request a My trade agreement with them, welcome. and they agree. So this is good. We'll get a little bit of money off that. The This clan here is indifferent with us. Please let's uh, speak honestly. see and if they'll trade. They will. We'll take it. So now we got uh, quite a bit of trade going on. That increased our uh, income per turn by a, a fair little stretch there. We probably need to Kata Fire Cab more. That would be great. Let's get one more bow and one more infantry to, uh, to start off with here. And I'm probably going to... Uh, let's do that. And then let's just uh, go to this army and send our other Takeda general back to the city because we don't need them both in the same one. Uh, let's check where was form Bushido, form defense, way of the bow, way of the sword. Is it over here, Zen? Equal field, school shinobi, four. Oh, it's way down here. Holy smokes. Well, I'll start working on it. We'll see what we can do. Um, as long as we have enough turns to get there. Uh, master the following art. Oh, it doesn't give me a timeline. So, yeah, we can just uh, go there. We'll get us a Takeda bow cavalry. That'll be extremely handy. Let's go ahead and end the turn here. Try and get those few troops trained so we can head to North Shinano. We don't need a giant army, but it would be nice to have, you know, uh, a, a few more troops than I have. Yeah. Alright, got our first unit of Bo Ashigaru and Yari Ashigaru. Finished the uh, studying the way. Okay, got these two units that can join Takeda Shingen. Okay. Let's see, construction wise, we're gonna need more money. And probably wouldn't hurt to go ahead and just do this uh, horse breeders here. And then we'll upgrade the castle town too. I, I'm gonna have to remind myself like how to build economy and balance food and everything else in this. I haven't played a, a traditional campaign in a long time. Uh, I'm trying to remember too, is it... I, wonder, I can't remember how many turns per year it is. Uh, I'll have to try and keep an eye on the seasons. I don't remember if it's four turns per year or if it's more than that. So we'll uh, take a look. I think I'm ready though to venture into enemy territory. I guess I could go ahead and train a few more troops, but I don't want to delay too long. Let's go ahead and go hit North Shinano. I mean, we, chances are we can probably get up there and take it. I want to take it before another faction moves in. Sun comes of age, Takeda Nobukado. So we have another general there. We've got a couple of generals. Let's uh, keep on heading up to North Shinano. Yeah, it looks like the Kiso are already here, so we're going to need to... S Crap. If the Kiso attack... I'm not going to assist them because I want to take this uh, town. I want North Shinano. I don't want them to have it. But if I attack them, it's going to be bad for my honor. It will reflect poorly on me for making a trade agreement with them and then declaring war on them. That kind of stuff happens, yes, in Shogun 2. Uh, I'm going to decline the attack. It looks like the Kiso failed. Art mastered, so... Alright, now I'm going to attack, and I'm going to siege these guys out a little. 
Uh, let's see if we go for three turns. I will take a little bit of winter attrition, but we should be able to suffer it and still win uh, a victory here. So let's uh, continue the siege. What season is it? It's summer. So we've got a couple of turns to see if they'll come out and attack me. And they may they may come out straight away and attack me. We'll see. Construction. we got plenty of money to upgrade the stronghold at this point. Stronghold is going to consume more food. Warhorse stables, just going to enable more stuff, So, and it doesn't look like it hurts us from a food or income or happiness, anything else standpoint, so might as well build it since we have the money. I like playing the longer campaign, it gives you more time for research. We are going to get attacked here, this is going to be good. So we're going to take an open field battle at the Battle of Matsumoto, 1546. I'm going to want to actually try and move up to the little bit of open ground that I see up there on the map. Uh, because that will allow me to probably best use my cavalry. And we definitely want to take advantage of that. Enemy infantry probably actually outnumbers me here, but we should be able to use our cavalry and bows to, to decent effect. Let's see what we can do. So excited for this campaign. Alright, we won't watch the general speech every time, even though I definitely approve of the trash mouthing that Takeda Shingen is capable of. These beautiful maps. Let's put our bows here in the center. We'll put Shingen on the right and a light cab over here on the left. I might want to try and grab one more light cab for this army. I'm going to group these guys just so I can move them up faster. I'm going to run or walk my cavalry so that they keep pace with my troops better. So, what do we got? Boashigaru. Let's see, I am using the debug camera so I can zoom way in and way out. So, let's see. Let's see. Three Yari Ashigaru. Looks like at least two Bo Ashigaru and two bodyguards. I have to be a little bit careful here. A light cavalry would probably do decent against a bodyguard. I can match their bows. Let's uh, get rid of the hard group here. I think I have enough infantry to at least match their own. Let's get our own bows. The enemy is actually coming straight towards me. Pull back with the light cav here. And let's push this side. Yeah, actually want you to pull back. <laughs> okay, you're gonna fire on the Boeshigaru. Let's push forward with our infantry. Um, and now let's push forward with his cavalry. Let's see, charge the Yariashigaru. Yariashigaru. Let's get around the flanks. Bring our general in, bring this cavalry around. Oh crap, they got some samurai retainers there. We're gonna need to rear charge them. They will actually be pretty well. Let's double attack that general. Let's attack the other general. I'm losing this Yariashigaru to that samurai retainer. That was a blunder. Uh, let's hit it with our bows. Hopefully we don't lose Shingen here. It's a very real possibility of that. But that should minimize it with the rear charge from that light cavalry. Uh, this fight could be going better. My Yari samurai now are actually wavering. We've got problems. Got an inbound Yari Ashigaru. This is not good. It's not good. Come on! Be gone! We're gonna have to pull out of this. Probably take some pretty bad losses there too. Our Yari Samurai is tanking it out, fortunately. Uh, we're gonna lose this Yari Ashigaru probably before I can run a good hammer and anvil, but let's see. We'll try. There's a good hammer and anvil. Yep, that's gonna save him. My Lord, a glorious victory that was actually a pretty close victory. A lot closer than I'd like. Uh, we probably ought to uh, run down the remaining troops. Uh, okay, there we go. Well, let's just end the battle and see what happens. Hopefully we'll be in control of Norshin Auto there after defeating those guys. That was, But we may still have to siege him out. Yeah, if they had survivors, we may have to siege him out. I don't know if we actually killed their general or anything either. We have a few men left, not a lot. No, it looks like we're going to... Well, we ranked up. Yeah, and we're going to be able to peacefully occupy. Awesome. So we are in control of North Shinano. Our trade with the Kiso has been disrupted. It's possible the Kiso just lost their province. 
looks that way. Looks like Hida was their province. Hida... I don't see any special attribute that Hida has. North Shinano. What do we got here? Improved irrigation. We don't have any special buildings in North Shinano, it doesn't look like. Um, we do have this Sake Den, where we could get a, a ninja, which would be a handy unit, but uh, not sure. Not sure what I want to build the sake den. Probably gives us a little bit of income too, does it not? It does. The added wealth uh, is pretty nice actually. And it adds to provincial happiness. So, it, I mean, it can't hurt. Let's go ahead. Well, let's see. We have two excess food. Um, that one farms are complete there and there. Well, we still got this one going. I don't know if that's going to consume one food or two, so we better make sure before we uh, get ahead of ourselves here. We, we can go ahead and build the uh, the other sake den. Or the, the sake den, like, finish it up. Let's see where we're at. So we're seven turns away from getting form, and that'll give us a bow cavalry, which will be very handy. Let's take a look at the diplomacy again, because we encountered a lot of clans. Uh, we probably don't want to be friends with the Ikoiki. They probably wouldn't like us anyway. The Oda are at war with a bunch of people that we like, so they're probably not going to be that thrilled to have anything to do with me. Right now, the Uesegi are indifferent, and so is this other clan here. Uh, I don't really think I want to trade with them, because I'm most likely going to attack them. Several of these clans, actually. So, let's go ahead and end the turn and just kind of keep things the way they are. The, the Oda actually won a trade I agreement. Have you listened to my offer. Hopefully you that doesn't turn the Imagawa. And the other one's against me, but let's just, uh, let's give it a shot. Let's take the trade agreement. It's just more money for us. Looks like the Hojo are moving against Musashi. Okay, the clan next to me is declaring war on me. Um, I'm not going to call my allies to help. I don't need to. Uh, the Ikoiki, though, are allied, but they did not join them either. Which means that should break the alliance between the Ikoiki and this faction that just declared war on me. Let's go ahead and get a ninja, get him started on progressing, and we'll probably need to... Let's go ahead and recruit uh, a couple more light cav down here. It's not going to hurt to have plenty of light cav for the open field type battles. And then I'm going to get another each of uh, Yari Ashigaru and uh, Bo Ashigaru. Okay, see what we get here. Oh wow, they're just gonna straight up come and try and get me here. Um, they're gonna fail. They do have a bow samurai unit, but uh, yeah, these, these guys are gonna fail miserably here. Let's fight them off. This is gonna be a good opportunity for me to beat them down and then get ready to move forward and, and to take their settlement. I do need to be careful. We don't want to get overstretched too soon, but we don't really want to turtle for too long either because the clans around me could get much more powerful. I do have the battle setting set to hard, which definitely cheats for the AI. That's why you saw my Yari Samurai struggling to defeat Ashigaru and other stuff in that last battle. Um, it's not bad in the end because eventually my troops will be upgraded and they'll be good. Um, I want to leave it that way uh, just so that the AI gives me a little bit more of a challenge by leaving it on hard. Uh, if it gets to a point where we think it's either too easy or too annoying, we can we can adjust it then. But I don't think that'll be the case. It should turn out fairly well. Let's go ahead and start the battle. Let's see where the most bows are coming from, because that's where I want to concentrate my bows. Let's see. Here's some of the enemies. Bow Ashigaru and a couple of spear units. What do we got over here? This is where they're going to have their Bow Ashigaru and Bow Samurai. I think what we want to do, yeah, what I would like to do, first of all, let's take my two light cavalry and uh, exit over here, and we're going to come bring these two units over here to face, face their uh, bow samurai and other units there. And then let's get what kind of units they got over here. Yari Ashigaru, Yari Ashigaru. 
Uh, let's keep our general well away from the bow fire. Uh, let's see. Just kind of keep all of our guys back for now. Let let the enemy go ahead and uh, try and climb the walls. Let's bring this cavalry around, see if we can use it to our advantage. If they start climbing the walls, I'll move my uh, samurai retainers over. I just want to keep want to keep my guys out of range of their bows so that their bows try to uh, climb the walls. Uh, you can run, please. Forgot that they don't automatically run when you give them an order on the wall. Uh, where are they firing? Okay, they're firing at these these guys over here. Oh, now they're gonna come after my cav. That's good. It'll just keep them distracted. They can't chase both my units at once. It looks like they are chasing this one, and we're going to get away from them. Yeah, this will just get the enemy all tired out, too. Let's go attack that Boashigari real quick. It is charging uphill against quite a few men. But we'll see what happens. Should still damage the, uh, the Boashigari pretty badly, though the spears will be pursuing us. Okay, the spearmen may be able to come in and get me before I can route this guy. Probably will be the case. So let's get out of here before the spears catch me. Hopefully I won't take many losses pulling away from a bow Ashigaru. Uh, let's turn around and give another charge on those guys. I've got my, my bowmen sitting here trading fire with those bow samurai. Let's go run an attack on them. That time we have a waiver going on in the Boeshigaru, that's good. We haven't lost too many light cav, and we are destroying uh, the Bo Samurai, though we do have spears joining the fight now, and that stupid Ashigaru did not rout. I'm going to have to get out of here because spears are actually very deadly uh, to cavalry on this game. Yeah, we got a nice light cav charge on that Bo Samurai. Let's stop firing with our own bowmen. Uh, let's halt because we're going to kill our own guys. Uh, if these two bows can attack that general, that would be good. Gonna get a nice charge on their bows here. Actually, haven't lost my light cavalry, that's also good news. The general's being shot by my uh, bow Ashikaru. And they have a spear unit actually incoming now. Let's pull away. Let's just see if we can get away alive with our light cav. May not though, because we're being pursued by other cavalry. What? Bows? Really? Come on! Give them an attack order and they left the walls, even though they had the uh, enemy unit in range. It's pretty irritating. I'm gonna have to run away. They're being chased. It's just, my light cap should be able to outrun the enemy troops here, barring any weird terrain stuff. Let's just see if we can get away. <laughs> We're gonna tire out the enemy a lot here, that's for sure. Now I've just got the AI in like a full-on chase after all my troops. Don't have many light cav left. Yeah, the A- what the- really? Why did they do that? I gave them both a move order somewhere else. What a bunch of horse crap. Oh great, now my bowmen are sitting here not firing. Let's return fire. Come on! Get away from that crap. Let's see if we can get one light cab back in here alive at least. That would be pretty nice. I'm going to kill the rest of their bow Ashigaru. I'd say that the efforts with the light cab were probably worth it in the end. I mean, it could have killed these guys without doing that, but whatever. It's, it's all good. Oh, really? Taking bow fire from... Oh, these bows were in range of me. That gum. Just make sure all the rest of these troops are out of range. We'll force those guys to climb the wall. We want to force all these guys to climb the wall. All these Yariashigaru now should be considerably tired. Stupid bows are still not climbing the walls. There they go. Now they're committed. Let's get the samurai retainer over there. And let's get some more of these troops. We do have Takeda Shingen here, though. I'd like to keep him out of battle if at all possible. Let's attack those Boeshigaru. 
Got enemies getting up over the wall, wall there. I'm going to attack that Yari. Uh, my guys are struggling to get the appropriate attack, though. There they go. So my samurai retainers ought to tear up this uh, Yari Ashigaru pretty badly here. Some nice, beautiful Shogun 2 combat here. Oh yeah! Gotta love those blood effects all over the screen. Looking very nice. Let's see. We just routed something over here. Yari Ashigaru is wavering. Yeah, we're messing up these guys pretty bad. Our samurai retainer is uh, doing pretty darn well. Uh, let's see, my options not set up. Game settings, battle events, accept that. Battle interface, unit info, always, back, resume. There we go. All right. Got the unit in here. Let's get the Yari Ashigaru over here to help these samurai retainers. We got the general over here too, so let's uh, pitch plenty of guys in against him. Let's include the Yari Samurai in that fight, because the general is going to actually do fairly well with his swords versus my Yari Ashigaru, but they will be outnumbered pretty heavily. There's Bow Ashigaru coming up there too. You can see the, the general unit has these big Horos on their back that was for helping to block arrows from the way I heard it. Again, you can see the general unit's going to get quite a few kills, but they'll just uh, get overwhelmed by numbers here, at least they should. Yeah, I can see that uh, this guy's getting overwhelmed. If there's one of them without a Horo, then that should be the enemy general. Yeah, glorious victory is ours. Here's the uh, remaining troops of theirs being chased away. Chased out of North Shinano, out of our castle. <laughs> My archers just firing in there. Brilliant point-blank shots. Seemed like I never could get it right with those guys. I either had them on fire at will or not on fire at will when they should have been. Hope you enjoyed the first episode. Good little bit of action there. Um... Glad to be doing the Takeda campaign. Hope y'all are going to enjoy it. I'm pretty thrilled about it. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, we did lose that light cavalry, but I have another one in training, so it'll be all right. We'll come up there and get them grouped up with us. Okay, so we did finish improving the town. It's only one additional food that it ends up taking up is what it looks like. I can't remember which building chains eat up food or if it's just the, um, the city center that does that definitely would be good to have so we got the warhorse stable and uh it's the master one if we build we could get yari cav or katana cav if we build the sword school probably i'd probably rather have yari cav they're getting the charge katana cav wouldn't be bad either they're just a little slower um let's go with the yari drill yard down there and then uh, up here, we don't need to build anything else at the moment. We do have our, our ninja here. Let's just get him in here to establish a spy network, do a little bit of work for us. I will see you back on the next episode. Air of Carthage, signing out.